Hey everyone, Future Linksy here. I wanted to let you all know that yesterday was actually my birthday and that's why there were no videos up. I was out celebrating and I've only come home today and uh, there was a big thing that kind of happened. See, when I was recording my video a couple of days ago for this episode of Niche, I ended up accidentally deleting our <laughs> previous island. And so all of the, our little nichelings from then, from our alternate family, are now gone. And I'm sure some of you are thinking, oh, well, doesn't it let you choose whether you should delete it or not? And I'm pretty sure it does, but I wasn't really thinking about it. You know, I'm my <laughs> days have been hectic so far with working, with my birthday, with Christmas just around the corner. So <laughs> I'm not really thinking straight at all when I'm making a video anymore, at this moment anyway. But I know that we can go ahead and name our own creatures, and that's what I wanted to do. And here's kind of our rule, is that it's going to be Warrior Cats inspired, you're going to choose kind of a nicheling, and we'll vote on it. I'm going to let a majority rule kind of thing. I'll see if I, how I can do that, because I'm not completely sure. I'll figure it out, though. I promise. And uh, yeah, we'll just vote on which nicheling gets what name from you guys. And we'll go from there, and please be a good sport about it. We don't really want any rude comments about that kind of thing, like, oh, this name isn't really great or whatever, you know? <laughs> it's just really not necessary. I want to keep the peace. You never know. Maybe your name will get chosen, and maybe it won't, and we'll just see, you know? And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So I will see you all soon. Sorry for the awkward intro, guys. <laughs> so let's create our new world. And you guys did actually tell me that we can go ahead and name our creatures now. I had no clue that we could do that. So <laughs> that's really cool. And I was like, okay, well, let's go with Warrior Cats kind of names. Or at least Warrior Cats inspired names. And I wanted to do this because I couldn't make a story out of <laughs> all of this, really. Like a uh, series... Uh, Sims Warrior Cats series. It, that series is amazing, by the way. I absolutely adore it. So I wanted to do Warrior Cats inspired names, and we can also take names from the book. But um, obviously, I'm going to go ahead and name this one Sandstorm. That's not me moving that. That was actually a... <laughs> that was from the typing. So we'll name this one then... Uh... Oh gosh, what was his name? Firestar. Okay, there we go. So we'll name him Firestar. Uh, th that S, that lowercase S bothers me actually, just a little bit. There we go. So we have Firestar, we have Sandstorm, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have our pups, or I suppose kits, in this <laughs> scenario. And uh, you know what? They'll be wonderful little creatures. So we've got all of that. Let's go ahead and fix our immunities. We're definitely getting rid of that horrible blood clotting that Adam has because we don't need children that will bleed horrendously. <laughs> That's not what we want. Adam, you are not exactly the winner that I would want to have breed. But you know what? You're here. So we'll have to get over it, I guess. So let's do this. We'll skip through the day. And we will see our newest child, who is Kuta Duke. There we go. He's 4-1-1, has that normal blood clotting, thankfully. He does have that silly no paw, though. So, hopefully, since Adam's got that silly hemophilia, when he dies, we'll actually get rid of the uh, hemophilia problem. But at the moment, we're going to stick with it. And oh, goodness, yes. Okay, so we did find a berry bush and a new nest. Thank you goodness. So, oh gosh, now he is a male. I don't think that Sandstorm and Firestar actually had a child, had a male child. I know that they had Leaf Pool, and I know that they had the other one. <laughs> I don't remember, but let's look at you. You have a rather long nose, just like your mother there, don't you? You have that gorgeous brown mane. No one seems to inherit his red fur, or that red mane, actually, now that I think about it. It's always that brown mane. I think it's because, yeah, because Eve, or Sandstorm in this case, actually has that brown mane. She has A and B. He has F and G. That's usually the norm. 
so let's go ahead and name this child. Um, hmm. I will name you Uh, no. No, 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 no. Alright. Technically, it would be Grass Kit, but we are not going through the kit and the paws and the naming apprenticeship. We're not going through that. But I do like the name of Grass Paw. I think that would be a nice name. Although he's obviously not old enough to be a cute little apprentice, are you? No, you're still a kit. You are a kit indeed. But that's okay. Oh, I do hear a cute little bunny, though. So we're gonna... Oh, there he was. He just scooched off like, Oh no, she found my hiding place. Oh no. Yes, I did, sir. So we're gonna have to make uh, Firestar and Sandstorm mate again. And we'll have Grasspaw here keeping an eye out for those rabbits. I guess you can consider us being in a wind clan. I am forever a wind clan cat. No one can tell me otherwise. I absolutely adore that clan. Despite them being total jerks in some of the books, I'm still Wind Clan born. <laughs> so we'll go and do that. Eve, uh, Sandstorm, you can go sit there. Firestar, you can pick off there. And we have uh, Dudukhnu, who is A and F as well, just like his brother. However, he actually has a double runner paw, so he's not as useless. He's 5 2 and 1, actually. And, um,. You, you will be named... Oh, I thought I had said it there. I'm going to name you Mouse Leg. Welcome to the world, Mouse Leg. <laughs> you are going to be... This is going to be a wonderful series, guys. Oh my gosh. I, I, I'm excited for it. So obviously our children do have those poisonous fangs locked away, hidden away. Maybe we can find a rogue female or a rogue male around here. We're actually very close to this other nest, which is kind of strange to me. And the tree is all the way over here on that coast, sadly. So we don't have to worry too much about that. And nobody has any weird clotting at the moment, I think. We can do this, and we will stick Sandstorm. Uh, not Sandstorm. Oh, dang it. I actually want to stick Mouse Leg over there, and we'll just stick Sandstorm here, and we will let Firestar kind of grab this, and there's that bunny rabbit! There he is! Just being a little pain over there. <laughs> That's quite alright, though. So I hope you guys didn't mind having such a long wait. I am so sorry. That was really not the plan for all of this. And let me just make him an alpha. Along with Grasspaw, these, these children should be alphas because they're not they're not any lower rank. Although this is A and G, who is critic here at the moment. He's four, one, and one. Uh, you know what, actually, now that I think about it, we're gonna have grass paw and whoever has that silly no paw, we're gonna go ahead and mark them with having a beta. Or uh, maybe we should have them marked instead as an omega. That way we completely know that they probably aren't our priority to mate. So we'll do that, we'll stick Sandstorm here, and we will collect what we can. So little Kurt here, what will your name be? Uh, you know what, I'm gonna name you Rowan Hart. Welcome, little Rowan Hart, oh my goodness. And a lot of them are starting to get that hemophilia problem, That. It might be there later on in life. I'm not quite sure. We'll just have to hope and pray that they won't have so much of an issue. And I'm going to go ahead and use Grasspaw at the moment. We're going to stick Rowan Heart over there. Stick Sandstorm over here. Have Firestar pick the berry. And that little rabbit is just sticking there. He really is not looking for any trouble. <laughs> He's like, no, don't eat me. Don't eat me. That's okay, Mouse Leg won't eat you right now. At the moment, I guess. And there was actually a challenge, a little niche challenge that I was looking at from a friend of mine. You might, uh, you guys might already know him, and that is Nowhere, or Going Nowhere Gaming. There we go. I say it wrong all the time, I'm so sorry. 
But uh, yeah, so he actually has this generation challenge, and I was looking into it, and I thought that was really cool. I'd really like to do it at some point, but at the moment, for now, we are kind of busy <laughs> restarting a game. So let's see, so this is Sire. She actually has those double runner legs as well, and has B and F. Now, Mouse Leg has that F gene too, but we can risk it. We could pretty much risk it. I think Rowan Hart is the only one who doesn't have that immunity problem, but he does have that no paw problem, which Sire does not. She also doesn't have that uh, hemophilia problem either. So she's rather set, but I'm gonna name her Moonpool after one of Fire Star and Sandstorm's Sand Storms children. <laughs> there we go. And you know what? Since that hemophilia is becoming an issue, well, it's not as much of an issue, I'm going to go ahead and switch it for that runner leg so we can definitely make sure that our children will be safe later on because Firestar and Sandstorm are getting a little bit older. So we'll do that. We do. Oh, rain! Oh, thank goodness. Okay, good. Perhaps we should have had Mouse Leg over here instead so he could collect and we could have Grass Paw sitting over there. I, I didn't really think about it, and I really should have. <laughs> well, Moonpool, you'll just sit over there. And we'll just go ahead and mate. Wait a minute. Her name was not Moonpool. What was that cat's name? Because the Moonpool is what they went to. It was not... <laughs> Moonpool! Oh no! What was her name? Oh, it's a quick look up, but I really don't want to look it up at the same time. I think it's okay if we don't. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm such a bad Warrior Cats fan. I really am. <laughs> Oops. Oh, and another female. Amazingly, we haven't run into a new creature. That's a bit of an issue for me. I'm going to go ahead and move Grasspaw over here, though. He's going to keep an eye out for our family. And we're going to just keep Rowan Hart here, since he... Oh no, it was Mouse Leg actually that could go ahead and do that. I forgot. Okay, well, we'll have to move Rowan Hart out that way. So we have Isra, who is 3 2 and 1 actually. She, she did get that berry paw, but she had to sacrifice her runner's leg, which is sad because I was hoping that no paw wouldn't come back. But Adam, you are so wonderfully irritating when it comes to that. <laughs> Yes, you are, sir. That's okay. So, let me go ahead and look this up really fast. Okay, guys, I remember what it is now. It's Leaf Pool. And <laughs> how did I think it was Moon Pool, to be honest? Yeah, okay. So most definitely it was Leaf Pool. And I know some people are going to be like, why are you capitalizing the P? Well, it's two names to me. It's not just one. Meaning that this one will actually be... Squirrel flight. If that'll fit. Nope. It won't fit. So we'll actually give her the name. Uh, we'll shorten it in a weird way. So squirrel. Nope. All right. Your name is now Bounce Kit. Welcome. <laughs> that sounds nothing like Squirrel Kit. Sounds nothing like Squirrel Flight. That's okay though, but you are going to be an Omega because you have that horrible, horrible, horrible no paw. We have listed everyone here as no paw, correct? Yes. And I'm actually going to make you a beta. Thank you very much. And Sandstorm is an alpha. Firestar is an alpha. Okay. So we have our little bounce kit instead of squirrel flight. I'm so sorry. It's just how the game goes. So she's got that berry paw and that was my mistake. I really should have just kept that runner's leg instead. Not that the berry paw isn't a bad thing to have, but it's certainly with Adam's silly jeans. We can't do that. So we're gonna go ahead and skip ahead. So now we can move bounce kit out of here. Goodbye. And guys, don't be scared to ask me for a name, like to name your own little kits here, okay? That's completely fine. I don't want any fighting about it, obviously. But you guys are free to suggest a name that you might want 
for these little pups slash kits slash whatever else they might be called. Nichelings. <laughs> I'm perfectly okay with that. I really actually want you guys to help me name them because I'm so bad with names. You should have seen me when back in my RP days. Rest in peace, gentle heart. May you live forever. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I was really, really horrible with that. We're going to go ahead and skip the day though since everyone's kind of just chillaxing. And we're going to move Grasspaw over here. And Grasspaw actually found a cute bush so we do need a child that has that uh paw and i think bounce kit might just be the one that we'll need so we're gonna go ahead and stick bounce kit over there kind of next to her sister leaf pool and we'll stick leaf pool over here enough where she can see what's going on and we'll have mouse leg collect what he can and we'll have little rowan heart make his way outwards and we have a new baby who is Ronu who is 5, 2, and 1. He has A and G, has the double runner leg, might spread the hemophilia problem, not quite sure but he's definitely fit to be a beta though. So we are going to name you, um, your name is now Adernose, but we should probably keep that name for a nicheling that actually has the fangs, <laughs> now that I think about it. That would be pretty cool, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and keep it. So welcome to the world, little Adernose. Welcome, welcome indeed. So we'll keep going slowly and surely. Uh-oh, little bounce kit here did get sick. Thankfully she's okay, but... For how long is the problem? Well, it's a question, I suppose, actually. Well, yeah, that little bunny rabbit's scooching off, but that's okay. We'll collect what we can. There he is again. Just, he isn't sure where to go. Oh, oh, no, now he's hiding over there. We're gonna move Adderno's right over here on top of the uh, little rabbit's nest, burrow, whatever you'd like to call it. I consider it a burrow, though. I'm gonna go ahead and move that. Uh, use bounce kit and we're gonna move him there put sandstorm there and oh another berry bush awesome okay good good so adder nose mouse leg leaf pool are all fit to be betas the others are omegas for the fact that they can't exactly get to these bushes as well as the others. We still haven't seen like a random person though, which bothers me. Hello! <laughs> Hello there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use Grass Paw to kill that though. And we certainly have what it takes to move some of our children so that way someone else could take over this nest. Mouse leg here is A and F. Leaf pool is B and F. Sadly, Bounce Kit is actually B and G, so it's not too much of a problem there. But let's see what's over here. And it's another female, thankfully. And she's actually got all of these different types of traits, and she's actually got a super long tail. How did I not notice that before? I guess I never noticed that they do have tails. Huh. Well, this is Lara, and Lara, welcome to the pack, my dear. So, let's see. Lara actually has the blind eyes uh, hidden away. She's obviously a spitsnout with the deepest, blackest eyes I have ever seen. But she doesn't have a blood clotting problem. She's actually got the panda pattern hidden and even those violet eyes. So she's certainly welcome to join our pack. And I think she would make a very good fit for mouse leg here. So, Lara... We we're going to assume you were a kitty pet before, probably. And instead, your name will now be... Uh... Rivertooth. <laughs> These names are probably super dreadful to you guys, and I'm so sorry, but... Uh, till you guys suggest names, and you guys can go ahead and replace whatever names you certainly don't like. I know I'm not the best when it comes to that. <laughs> So don't be afraid to tell me that much. And we're actually going to go ahead and adjust this so that way I know. There we are. And since they're considered a breeding pair, I am now going to move you guys into the alpha ranks. 
along with Sandstorm and Firestar over there. Although we probably could have called him Fireheart at this point. Uh, and we have little baby Anana here, who has A and G. Sadly, the no paw trait, meaning she's stuck as being an Omega. She's 4, 1, and 1. And for that reason, I am going to name you... Uh... Smalltail. Welcome, Smalltail. You are indeed the tiniest little creature I have seen, although you do have the regular normal body, which is good. It's very, very good. No hemophilia problem either, which is awesome. So we will use Mouse Leg here to kind of look around for us. There is another nest here, thankfully. So we could technically move Rivertooth over there, and we could have someone else take over for here. Now, looking at Adenose, he has A and G. So, if we had a female that didn't have either of those, which would be Leaf Pole, who has B and F, it wouldn't be a bad idea. He's 5, 2, and 1. She's 5, 2, and 1. He's just a baby, though. He's very small. So, that's where our problem lies. That they're just very, very young, and the newer ones that are being born are sadly not getting that runner leg in our DNA pool. But maybe they will eventually. I'm really hoping that we can get rid of that hemophilia problem, but perhaps it's much better to stick on the antlers now, because we probably will run into a carnivore very soon. So we'll skip the day. Uh, Sandstorm actually is not pregnant, which I thought she would be. And that was my mistake. And we'll put Smalltail all the way over here for us. We'll stick Sandstorm right back here and slowly get Firestar to pick off these bushes and look around here and get Leaf Pole to do that. And little Grass Paw here is just kind of doing nothing. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I should kind of move you around to do something. I know a lot of you little pups and kits simply don't know what to do at the moment. You all are just here. You don't have a grand purpose yet. So, Rivertooth has provided us a wonderful little baby here who is Rovon. He's actually got no hemophilia problem, he's just a normal blood clotting, although we have to keep an eye out on that. He's certainly fit to be a beta, since he won't have that problem with the runner leg. He has D and F, and is a very pale red, which is very cute, kind of a light orange, kind of a pink almost. Has the blackest eyes like his mother and father. Has that brown eyes hidden away though. And wonderful, wonderful antlers. So I am going to name you. Uh, do they even know what deers are though? Honestly, probably not. But welcome to the world, little deer. Deer Claw. That's his name. Welcome, Deer Claw. Welcome indeed. And now, sadly, we don't have any more time, guys. I am so sorry for accidentally restarting. But with this new pack and Warrior Cat themed, perhaps we'll find a new interest in this family. And uh, it looks like Adam and, or I mean, Sandstorm and Firestar will be dying off rather soon. That'll be a bit sad. But do not be afraid to ask me to switch the names of some of these uh, pups. Some of these nichelings, such as Leaf Pole, we can definitely change her name into something else if you would like, or Bounce Kit, anything, honestly. So, other than the ones that are getting a little too old, like Sandstorm and Firestar, I would like to say that we've started off with them. So, I most definitely want to keep it that way. <laughs> can I scooch this here? No. I wonder why not, but that's okay. And so we have some cute little deer claw there. That's nice. Okay. So, we've got our new pack. Be feel free to start naming them whatever you guys want. Ask me whatever you would like to name them. Follow me on Twitter so you guys get a good update as to what just happens during life and why I'm not here or why I'm not uploading or whatever else is going on because there is some craziness sometimes and I don't record for a week. <laughs> Hopefully that won't happen, but, uh, yeah. If you have any questions or anything, let me know down below, and I will see you all next time. 
拜。